it's Mike Ross, also known as Mike on the Mic. He's getting ready for his upcoming 2022 comedy run. He'll be kicking it off at Vinny Brand's Stress Factory Comedy Club. Caroline's on Broadway. Punchline Philly. You don't want to miss him take the stage at the DC Improv. Then he'll be coming to the Atlanta Improv and at Chocolate Sunday's Comedy Show in Los Angeles, California. Promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Email me, Sam Ant at VHipHopNews.com. No wait, let's go. It's not even the right word. I guess I feel like I was kind of done with how the business was, the, mm-hmm. the direction the business was going in. So I kind of fell back and was just doing my own shit with life. You know what I'm saying? And not really uh, in the booth. I was trying to manage some artists, try to put a label together with my man, doing like behind the scenes shit. And my bro was like, yo, man, you know, you need to get back in it. You know what I'm saying? It's the best time for artists to do independence. You know what I'm saying? You control your, you know, all your shit, when you want to put it out, what you want to put out. And me and him just had like a long hour and a half conversation about that shit and it kind of pushed me. So I just wound up doing the volume one. That's how the volume one came up. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna just do like a series of them. You know what I mean? Just when I feel like dropping them, I'm gonna drop them. I ain't gonna have like no set, like every 90 days or every, nah, when I feel like mm-hmm. dropping it, I'm gonna just go in there, lay it down and drop it. You've been in the game now for two plus decades, man. You just talked about the industry and how you were kind of like, not liking the business side of it. How has it changed and how have you watched it grow and change throughout your two decades in the game? Man, but like I said, for the most part, the control, it's like, you know, the. I don't know if we've ever seen this ever, like, especially on the hip hop side where the artist has like this much control, you know what I mean? Over um, the creative part of it and the business part of it. So I like that, you know what I mean? Because I was just talking to my bro the other day and was just saying like, they was speaking about the thing with uh, Fabio and Mace and I'm just like, yo bro, at the end of the day, the music business never favored the artists ever. It always favored the labels from day one. And at the end of the day, we ain't never really had no issues with it. I mean, it was what it was. We knew that they put up the most of the money. They took the most risk. They did whatever the case may be. We knew whatever budget we had, we had to recoup it. That was just how it went. You know what I mean? Some dudes got small advances. Some dudes got bigger advances. That's just how the game go. It doesn't say nothing about what deal you signed or if a if a dude tried to fuck you or not if you only got five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars. Cause I mean, a dude could have got two hundred grand and he could have had a worse deal than the dude who got the five grand. Sure. So, so that shit don't mean nothing. All right. Yeah, it's just a shock value. I think of the five thousand. They see how big Fabio is now, but this deal was probably signed before he got like that. So like, I'm, I'm almost. For so for sure right. that deal was by before then. Right. You know Definitely. what I mean? But again, like I just the fact that the artist can control his his or her own destiny, can put out the music whenever they want to put it out, don't have to worry about the label telling them, nah, that's not the single. We need to go in this direction. You know what I mean? You need to make a song like this. I, I think that's cool, man. Where artists could build a, a following, or so to speak, or a fan base that's just their niche. You know what I mean? Yeah. To me, I, I think that helps the, the the older statesmen as well in the game, where they can just have a pocket that's just for them. They ain't got to worry about getting a, a song on the radio, really, because radio don't really run shit right now. You know what I mean? The internet is, and pretty much dictates everything. You know what I mean? You know that brings me to wanting to ask you this because we've seen. Who's our man? Conway the Machine. He came out a couple weeks ago and he was upset at uh, Flex, called him a gatekeeper. We've seen a couple other artists come out and call him a gatekeeper. But I remember you talking about how you and Flex kind of, he, he kind of was one of the first people to kind of open certain doors for you. Is that, is, is, is the, the time for like radio and the time for like DJs like Flex and stuff to get out the way or are they still important to the game? Are they the gatekeepers like the young are saying right now, in your opinion? No. I don't think they should get out the way either though. I mean, right, they right. definitely need to keep the gatekeepers like before where it was like, you know, but they, 
to say that they need to get out the way, nah, it's still, a, like I just said, it's still a pocket for that. People like this turn on the radio at seven and hear Flex drop the bomb and still go into his shit, you know what I mean, once in a while. Motherfuckers still like that, you know what I mean? So to say he needs to get out the way is kind of crazy, you know what I mean? So I would never subscribe to nothing that's saying someone needs to get out the way that once was the, the great or considered the top of the top dog of that field. Mm -hmm. And as long as they are still functioning a little bit in that capacity, I would never be on board to say that man should get out the way. Now, if he's thinking up the joint, if he coming on every <laughs> every night on Hot 97 and niggas are saying, why is this nigga still here? Then yeah, you need to get out the way right. and let somebody else get in that spot. But that ain't the case mm -hmm. with him at all. You know what I mean? Right. That's kind of